And that's that a, uh, is all right. Well, good. We're, we're great. This is um, this is something. This uh, goes right to Facebook Live. And that little that little device there is uh, it's either my worst enemy or my best friend, depending on what I say, I suppose. But uh, anyway, great to be here. I, I appreciate y'all down here at Metal Six uh, uh, allowing me to, to speak. Um, you know, there's some news today. I don't know if y'all heard about it. Uh, the race for governor on the Republican side got a little bit uh, narrower today. Uh, Denver Riggleman uh, has dropped out. And Denver um, and I were, were the, the two outsiders in the race. Uh, and Denver, uh, we were kind of pulling from the same uh, pot of uh, voters. So um, I think it's good. And he and I are going to sit down and talk. And, and uh, I hope that. Uh, uh, I'm going to be able to get them on my side. Um, I'm chair of the Board of Supervisors of Prince William County, which is an at-large position. Uh, it's Fairfax, Loudoun, Prince William County. Uh, we have at-large elected chairman. It's like being a, a big city uh, mayor. Um, I feel like I'm in a ring here. You know, uh, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Or you can come up here for it. Like yeah, maybe I'll do that. Is that all right, Ross? Can you move that thing? <laughs> Yeah, I'll do that. Maybe that's a little bit better. Yeah. That way I don't even have to have my back to anybody. That's how we would say it. Okay, thank you. That'll work. Okay. So, um, and I'm elected by the entire county directly as chairman. Uh, the other supervisors are district supervisors. They're, they have a, dis a district of the county. I've got the whole county. And Prince William County is it's a population now of uh, 454,000 residents. That's the second largest county in the state. Uh, it is uh, in Northern Virginia, just south of Fairfax County, just east of Loudoun County, and it's growing very, very fast. Uh, it's about a 60-40 Obama district, twice, uh, and unfortunately they voted for Hillary Clinton too. I'm the only Republican who's been able to win there, countywide. Uh, I've done it four times uh, since 2006. It was a special election in 2006, and I'm a very conservative Republican. I, I've led uh, the nation's toughest crackdown on illegal immigration. So far, we've handed about 7,500 criminal illegal aliens over to ICE uh, for deportation. The, cr the crime rate went way down uh, uh, by uh, about 50% in two, or two to three years after we uh, put the crackdown in place. And, um, and then, you know, we've also been able to reduce taxes. Uh, the first year that I controlled the budget, we had the number one cut, the, the biggest tax cut in Prince William County history. We cut tax bills on average for the average homeowner by about $400 in a single year. Cut $185 million out of the base budget in, in order to get that done. Yeah, I know. We got some of the conservatives in here. Wasn't easy, by the way. There was some pain, and we did get a lot of pushback, but that's what you got to do. Um, I want to be governor because I'm a fighter. I've been able to get things done, and I think that's what the state needs. I have been brutalized by the Democrats, brutalized by the left up in Prince William County. I've withstood it. It's turned me into a very ruthless campaigner uh, and somebody who's driven to get the job done no matter what it takes. In Virginia, we have a problem. We have a, one of the highest income tax rates in the Mid-Atlantic region, and we're losing jobs because of it. North Carolina, its top marginal uh, income tax rate in 2010 was 7.75%. Since then, they've been cutting spending, and they have dropped as of January 1st. Now think about this for a second. Uh, in 2010, the top marginal income tax rate was 7.75%. Today, as of January 1st, it is 5.49%. They are gaining hundreds of thousands of jobs. And Virginia is losing jobs. We're losing about 10,000 manufacturing jobs a year to states like North Carolina and other states that have a better tax environment, a better business environment. So one of the first things that I want, that I want to do, that we're going to get done, is to reduce the income tax in the Commonwealth. In the first year, we're gonna drop it from 5.75% down to 4.75%. And the way we're going to do, do that is by capping Medicaid expenditures. We're going to work with the Trump administration. Some of you might know I was Trump's 
campaign chairman here in Virginia. We're going to work with them. We're going to block grant Medicaid. We're going to design a health care system for the poor by Virginians for Virginians. And we're going to have a better health care system that is less expensive, less expensive not just to the taxpayers, but to the people who use it, and it'll be better quality. Somewhere between 15 to 60 percent of VA funding. Any veterans in here? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Wow, that's almost every guy in here. Thank you for your service. Somewhere between 50 and 60 percent of VA funding is for red tape. It's administrative. Less than half, think about that, less than half of federal funds for veterans care actually goes for veterans care. And that's because every single federal program, every single health care program run by the federal government is inherently inefficient, not just a little bit, by a lot. And that's why in Virginia, if we design a system specifically for us and by us, it's going to be more efficient and delivering uh, the service uh, to, the, uh, to the residents who need it. So that's a little bit about me. The last thing I want to mention, um, I'm a tough guy. I, I don't, I've never backed down. I've never backed down in a political fight. And a few weeks ago, I went down to Charlottesville because the city of Charlottesville voted to take down the statue of one of Virginia's and one of America's biggest heroes, Robert E. Lee. They voted to take it down. That statue had been there since 1924. Now think about that for a second. 1924, and they voted to take it down. I showed up there with an African-American a conservative activist. We went there with our uh, on Facebook Live. We've had almost uh, half a million views of this video. We were mobbed by the left, by Black Lives Matter and a whole bunch of other, and by the way, something that was funny about this. We showed up, and uh, the, the conservative with, with us, as I mentioned, he was, he, he, he was he's African American, and all these, about 100 or so protesters were yelling, go home white supremacists, go yeah. home white supremacists. And he looked around at them and he said, how come you're calling me a white supremacist when you're all white? <laughs> and it was true. They were all white. He was, you know, so it just shows you how bizarre the left had us done. They really completely uh, collapsed uh, with, with uh, the election of Donald Trump. So if you want somebody who's hard charging, who never backs down, a lot of people talk about cracking down on illegal immigration. I've done it. It's the toughest crackdown in America. A lot of people talk about cutting spending. I've been able to do it. A lot of people talk about cutting taxes. Our tax bills are now uh, the lowest in Northern Virginia by about 30%, 30% lower than those in Fairfax and Loudoun County. And if you want a winner, someone who's proven that they can win in a big district, 454,000 people, time and time again in Northern Virginia, and who's going to win the governorship, then I'm your candidate. So thank you very much, and we'd be happy to answer questions when I have.